I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Charlamagne the God. And the show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. And joining us today. He was born and raised in New York City, where uh. he began stand-up at 18. Uh. He's performed at comedy clubs all over the city, <laughs> such as the Comic Trip Live, New York Comedy Club, and Caroline's on Broadway. In 2020, he made his television debut on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. In 21, Andre became a JFL new face and started working as a staff writer on Comedy Central's The God's Honest Truth. Woo! He's also worked at the Music Choice Network in a development capacity, incubating content focused on hip-hop and pop culture. As a host, he has interviewed artists like... Camilla Cabello, Little Yachty, and DJ Khaled. He's also been a digital ad campaign brand ambassador for companies such as Polo, <laughs> Axe Body <laughs> Spray, and Bevel Shame oh Systems. Make some noise for Andre D. Thompson. Hey! I gotta change that. What up, Dre? I've what never up? seen somebody put their ads in their that box. Was wild. Hey, bro, I don't know. I started you know, just put shit in there. I was hoping some shit was gonna leak. Make something work, nigga. I ain't know. Well, Andre is here. Salute to my guy. I'll Schultz is it. here. How was your week? How was your week, Schultz? Uh, Nyla's here too. And why LA? Yeah. I didn't know if Nyla was on the show or she was just Nyla's over here. Hear me eating the chipotle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love I love Nyla on the pod because Nyla doesn't stop doing whatever she was planning <laughs> on doing that day. <laughs> like if Nyla has a phone call, she just takes her phone call. You're gonna eat your chipotle burrito. Oh, like knitting. she's knitting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Everything shit. but. And then when we ask her a question, she acts like, oh, oh, did you want me to talk on the (laughs) podcast? Like, you're on camera. Like, everybody's seeing everything that's going on. That is very true. Um, I had a good week, man. Good week. Uh, You want to know something funny? I had a good week. So I was out in L.A. I was telling you I was was filming a new White Man Can't Jump movie. Oh, you're allowed to announce that? uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time for Andrew Schultz and White uh, Man Can't Jump. And uh, I heard that. I heard that. Because I'll tell you later. uh, Well, tell me. Huh? Because there's a funny story about it. (laughs) Which one? All right. You tell me one. No, no, no. It's just... It's, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So the guy who's directing at Calmatic is okay. a brilliant guy, and um, he almost didn't uh, cast me for the movie. Why? And I was like, why? And he was like, well, you were on Brilliant Idiots, and I'm a big fan of Brilliant Idiots, and you told people, don't ever cast me for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, remember, remember after the Eddie Murphy shit? Remember I was like PTSD'd out? I was like, bro, I'm a horrible actor. Don't ever catch me. That's why you got to remain fluid. Just tell people you fluid, I'm bro. fluid, bro. Everything's fluid. I identify as thespian. There you go. <laughs> no, that's real, what? though. That's real. Yeah, 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 I don't think they know what a thespian is. Actor. Exactly. You don't know what a thespian is? No, they don't. I oh. know. Are yeah. you calling them day? No. <laughs> Yo, Charlamagne, <laughs> bro. Come on. Nyla didn't know what a thespian was. Nyla, you don't know what a thespian is? Well, no. what do you think it is? Based on what it sounds like. If you're fluid, based on the kind oh, of shit. conversation that you're going to That's crazy that <laughs> you're the, you the youngest <laughs> person wild. in this room. You're supposed to have all the definitions of all this yeah. new shit, and you don't know what a thespian is. Dre, do you so, know what a thespian actor, is? Actor, right? Actor, actress. There you go. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> See, you too woke. Take a nap. <laughs> you, no. said you do everything. <laughs> That's why woke people need a nap right there. <laughs> you said you do everything. I told you pansexual. <laughs> you said fluid. And no, you said like, fluid. Yes, I mean I meant fluid as in like, like go with the flow. That's let shit, right. you know, let like, shit ride. Yeah, Nothing yeah. we say here is concrete. Be water. We yeah. all are, we, we all we all adapt. Be water, Bruce yeah, Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, f- even fluid is new for us. Fluid is absolutely definition wise. I don't even know what that shit really means. But when we were younger and there was like somebody who's sexually fluid, you're like, well, yeah, clean it up. Like, <laughs> word <laughs> more. <laughs> so get any of that on me. So what happened with the movie? Dude? It was great, man. I had it's I had done. A blast, Y'all already finished shooting. I finished my part. You shot with Jack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My season wow. with Jack. I, I'm like, I'm like hustling. I'm, I'm selling drugs for Tim and shit like that. So you got a role? Like you're in it for a while? Or? I got a few scenes in it. Wow. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, you cool. on Jack's like team? I'm, I, I'm basically selling drugs to him. I'm like selling like pain pills to him yeah. at the gym. You don't play ball at all? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, yeah. but, but you know what I was thinking about? Like, they how bring dope. the Hezio. Nah, nah, nah see, <laughs> they don't want that. But I was thinking about how dope, like, the diversity initiative in Hollywood is. Because, like, now, white people, we get all the cool roles. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. you guys got to play the squares. You got to be serious you gotta be, like, and, leading and man. dignified. And I'm out here, like, selling pills and shit. Like, this <laughs> fire being 
you bug know, number six. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, for years you've been trying to get lawyers. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this gonna make white people right, cool God, again, bro. <laughs> no, for real. That might be true though, because it's just like a normalization process, yeah. right? Yeah. You guys get to be the squares, and yeah. then we get to be the cool guys, and then we gotta cross the street when we see you. Ooh. You should. That's what it is. We gotta flip it. Ooh. Hundred percent. So. Did you have to do any basketball training for the role? Because when I Come spoke on, to son, Jack, you know Jack am, said sir. that they had <laughs> you know who I am, athletes man. training him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was he was actually doing training like every day. Like with like real that. NBA players, real people we know. This dude, um, he had like a specific guy who was like coaching him and also like doing all like the scenes. And okay. he had done it for other, I think, movies and TV. I forgot the guy's name, but good dude. And uh, he played ball overseas, and uh, he was just like a real hooper. And so you had to go out there and show them your your natural born heavy I mean, skills. In between, you know, in between <laughs> shots, yeah. I might have been putting up a couple, you know, letting people know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. Just in case I bust your ass for real. It's that easy, you know what I mean? So is it stereotypical? I haven't seen. I mean, I, I haven't. The Yo, old it's movie. fire. This guy, the, really? the guy who wrote a Doug Bell, is. And you know me. I'm not just saying because I'll come back from a movie with Eddie Murphy and be like, "Man, fuck this. It ain't me." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't me. Wait till the movie come out. There's things yeah, called yeah, edits. Yeah, you're right. You're right. right. That's what I'm hoping. I'm like, I was saved. No, nah, no. Nah, but I read the whole <laughs> fucking script on the flight over, and this guy Doug Bell, this guy who wrote it, and it was fucking beautiful. And it was like, it was yeah, it was like you know, I always get you know choked up with the father son kind of stuff but yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's not a remake of the same plot of the first one right. okay. you know what i mean it's okay. different characters it's just okay. kind of like inspired by it mm. and um and it was just like a beautiful story man yeah i don't yeah. even know the, the reason i was hesitant about white men can't jump is because i don't even know if that stereotype still holds up well oh, they yeah. play into that really the, what i liked about the movie is it gets to talk about race relations without it being the forefront of the conversation. Like, so often Finally. when we want to talk about race, like, we just go, hey, here's here's a race discussion. Yeah. This is about basketball. But when it comes to ball, there's going to be discussions about race. Absolutely. But it's second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. you actually are more honest because the yeah. race thing is, I think we're, I don't know about y'all, but I think we're almost all exhausted. Like, are we going to make every Facts. single discussion yeah. about everything? Somebody yeah. said obesity is racist this week. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm like, come on. <laughs> come on. I asked somebody racism. to say that to me on Twitter saying obese is a slur. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's in the no. dictionary. It's a description. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. We got way better slurs. They're going to fat. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I got yeah, million, yeah. Out here, I'm bro. never going to stop doing that. I'm sorry. Y'all oh, no, going to have to great. just cancel me. <laughs> yeah, 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 All right, yeah, fat, yeah. come on. Because we, 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 we talked about this on the podcast before. I actually believed our first ever brilliant idiot was the star shame. Enterprise. Enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> with, our, with, our, with our sister Jazz Fly, God R. bless R. the dead. And I, we were having conversations about how some forms of shame are good. Are good. good. How else do you tell somebody they need to lose weight? You got to tell them. You got to really tell them. clever Facts. nicknames. Some sorts of shame is necessary. It gets people out their bullshit. Yes. Yeah. And who's harsher than the doctor? When the doctor says, you're going to die. Yeah, that's months. shame, bro. If you're you obese. Lose your weight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I thought LGBTQ plus, I thought the plus was them. Was fat people, bro. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like I was, my boys told me, nah, it's because oh, there could be more shit. things. And I was like, fat people not about to be gay now. You can't be. That's actually, I can see, I, I would, I would, I would own that if I was them. If I was them, I would own that. We are the plus. Yeah, we're the plus. Because that's, that, that's protection. Yeah. Now you can, you see how you hesitated before you said something? <laughs> what I do? What I do? You hesitated do? before you even <laughs> said what your thoughts on well, that. Well, that was maybe because I thought y'all think I was stupid for assuming the plus was that. I didn't, I don't know what the plus yeah, is. Right. But isn't that funny that gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, obese, big girl. fat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so wild group. Like, the, the parties at the club that week. The wild <laughs> thing about being obese, though, is subjective because you got some people who big and they love being big and they own yeah, it. Loving Cat. it and owning it has nothing to do with the the, the thing. That's break that down. Yeah, like you can love and own you because that's you, but you can still try to manipulate or change your body or like try to get healthier. True. Yeah. Like loving yourself don't got to mean fuck it. Also, yeah. a lot of people take love in it to be fucked. Yeah. I'm not trying no more. Imagine how much more you love yourself. It's like, I love the Knicks. And if they won, 
You will love me even right? more. Like, <laughs> you will fucking love yeah, me even more. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they be the <laughs> best ever. Like, so if you're big, <laughs> if you're big and you're confident, when you get thin, nobody can stop you. Because you're still confident. Shouldn't matter on whether you're big or Except small. Found, confident is confidence. You found the love inside, absolutely. And now you have the outside to match it. Absolutely. The crazy thing about being big, though, and I say this all the time, there's not. There's going to be a point in your life where mm. your doctor says you have to lose weight. Yes. That's it. Yes. Sir. Bottom line point of the period. So, yes, you can, you should love yourself. You should embrace who you are. You sh- But at some point, the doctor's going to be like, uh, you might want to lose weight. Your cholesterol is a little high. All right. Let me ask you this, though. Mm-hmm. We just cu- came out of COVID. Yes. Comorbidity number one is obesity. obesity. That's number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, not even age, it's just obesity. That's the only reason they're hearing the word so much. That's probably why it's so offensive to them now. <laughs> I'm serious. Not they not heard really. the word so much right? because of COVID. You're right. So now, do you think it is dangerous of Sports Illustrated coming right out of a pandemic that just kills fat people to put a, a plus-size girl on the cover as if this is the standard? And she's beautiful. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Like You look at her face, she's beautiful. But... As if this is something that should be rewarded. Um, it depends, I think. I'm saying, like, if it's plus size, but it's a person that's making the efforts. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, just no, but if you, you're a plus size model, like, the effort is to stay, stay plus size. size. But like, you're not working out. They be trying. They be I was going to say, I feel like certain people are just built like that. And yeah, I think like, we're in a generation. Big I think, what does that mean? And what does I, that mean? Built and, like that. and also, I think we're in a generation. You ever seen a fat skeleton? <laughs> norms are different now. But this there's crazy, like bro. there's other this things crazy. that contributes to like how a person's gonna carry their weight. There's like hormonal differences where okay, you're gonna... you, got, you got a thyroid issue or something like True. that. And also plus shit. size and obese aren't the same thing. Facts. Like plus size is plus size, obese is uh, my six hundred pound life. Yeah. Don't quote me on any of this because I'm not an expert. Yeah, we don't but know. <laughs> I feel like my six hundred pound life is obese. I think yeah. the terms too is carried by like the attraction level people have. If she a, a big girl but she hot. You call a plus size. Uh, if she obese, nah. if she a big, nah. <laughs> so, we okay. don't say plus size. What is we say plus thick. Size? A thick. We or say some thick. Shit. A plus size. I heard from yeah. magazines. Thick that's right. Because some of these women that y'all think are plus size, they just yeah. be thick. You bro. take them down yeah. south. It's, yo, who that's that? Juice frame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make a nigga see that be like a fluffy dot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nice, bro. It's, a, it's different. <laughs> That's real, though. That's what like, I'm saying. It's all like, these terms I didn't learn until I started seeing these shits recently. That's what I'm saying. I, by the way, I have not seen the Sports Illustrated cover, so I don't even know who you're talking about right now. True. But yeah. but pl- I know there's a difference between plus size and obese. That's and, why I think this shit gets true. And that's just industry shit. Like, yes. like you yeah, said, yeah, Jamaicans yeah, yeah. love thicker women. Down South love thicker women. Y'all can't handle no thick, bro. <laughs> you can't handle no thick. You're right. Bro. God, what's that right there? Nah, that's just another thick. Hold on one second. Mm, no. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's thick. Mm. Um, then mm. this is like category. This category is it's thick, then it's categories. plus size, and then it's obese. Yeah, mm. obese is like if you get mad at steps. Like you, you like, <laughs> yeah, obese like is regular like, life shit is <laughs> starting to impede you. That's true. You know, what I, mean? like I you see this up. thing. It's some type of like. Apparatus that helps you take your shoes off without bending down or yeah. lifting your foot up, and I'm like, right. that's just some An fat, angling. lazy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when you get to that point where you can't take your shoes yeah. off. Shout out to the thick, so dude. I do. I do look at uh fat, well, obese people, whatever the term is. I look at bigger people now with more concern than anything, though, because uh, no. you know we all got. We might have homeboys that's a little big. I, I don't, you know, no, nah, because. We all know. They, they, everybody knows. It's just like yeah. smoking cigarettes. We know. All right, but this that's shit the rough. thing. Mm. I don't. I want you to. I want him to. I want him but to be here. We all make. They be. Everybody making their choices. Like, yeah. You can tell a motherfucker to yo come work out with me. They are gonna be like fuck you, nigga. I'm not. No. I don't even. I've heard shit like that. Like I don't uh, know. <laughs> you say go get the surgery. I think it's right? the surgery. Certain people yeah. that you know that you love that you know are a little heavy set. You see them in the gym. You're like bro, get the surgery and then and then no work out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I mean, you got a lot. True. You know, especially if you're getting money. If you're getting money, just go ahead and get the surgery because you want to live, you want to be here. But yeah. they got to do the lifestyle changes. It ain't you just gotta the, do the surgery. Lifestyle changes. Yeah. That's real. Just the surgery ain't going to last until you, you know. Yeah, you're going to put it right back on. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the, the way you're doing shit that you got to alter. 
But shout out to all those beautiful thicks out there. Yeah, all Definitely. the thick, all the thick women, mm-hmm. all the thick men. Thickies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know, can't be, yeah. You know what's so crazy? The fact that y'all just added, you know, obese people to the list of folks that want to take comedians out. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like, like, you mean? I don't think y'all should be adding no anime. I'm not mad at nobody that's big. <laughs> if somebody was gonna rush the stage, you would like it to be, <laughs> to be so a- thick, right? Because you'd see him feet five four thumbing down the aisle. It's gonna take shit. a minute. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. You see them offensive linemen, them offensive linemen oh, move fast, yeah, but they're not sure. thick, bro. What are they? <laughs> plus size? They're plus size, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's plus, plus, bro. That's different. Yeah, athletic. That's different. Listen, uh, Dave Chappelle. Right, yeah, the, the guy Isaiah Lee, he says he oh, committed yeah. the crime that he committed, rushing the stage mm-hmm. because he's bisexual and he was triggered by Dave Chappelle's joke. Mm. And he said that I guess he was molested when he was younger too, so he got triggered by Dave Chappelle's pedophile jokes as well. Mm. I have a question for you two comedians, mm-hmm. and it's a legal question: Should this be considered a hate crime? Yeah, it's a hate crime. Bro. It's a hate crime, right? Hate crime. Hold on, on whose part? The guy the Isaiah guy. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Fuck him. Something to Now, why is it a hate crime? I think it's a hate crime because it's premeditated, right? And you yep. hate the things that come out of my mouth, which were the jokes, and you targeted a group. Yeah. Oh, you're targeting com- comedians. Okay, yeah, then comedians. it's a hate crime. It's a hate crime against comedians. I, for I, sure. But even I, even if even if it's rooted if it's rooted in hate, yeah. I think it should be considered a hate crime. To me, that's rooted in hate. You didn't yeah. like his jokes. You felt triggered by his jokes, which I understand, but just because you feel triggered don't mean you can react on your triggers with violence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, if it was the other way around, it'd be I, can't, I don't three understand out here in this that media. shit. That whole triggered, like, why just your feeling special? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's just his. I just think he acted on it. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 The amount of fuckery <laughs> jokes I hear all the time from yeah. all kind of people. Yeah. I'm like, all right, let it rock. I'm gonna just snuff this nigga now. Yeah. <laughs> like, why the fuck just your feelings? Everybody got different triggers though. Fuck them. What are your triggers? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get even it. know until I hear them. And then when I hear them, I'm like, that's really that's bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what is something like a joke you heard about you where you're like, ah, fuck, man. I, I heard a, a dad joke once. Yeah. It was like, some, you know, dead dad joke. And I was like, I. Oh, your father passed? Yeah. And I was uh, like, I. Uh, see, that's rough, Dre. But I just held. I was like, I. They made, you, it, they, they made it to you directly? Yeah, yeah. They had the joke shouted at me. I'm like, I word. But what I'm going to do? Haul off and just hit Did this nigga Did they know your boss was dead? Yeah. Yes. Was it like you had every right. right. It wasn't a roast. You, wasn't, you were not. <laughs> it wasn't a dossier. No, nah. It was, was it just, on stage? No. It was just. In front of you, just someone wanted to hurt you bad. Yeah, just roast, just joking and shit, and that's what they shot off with. That's justifiable. And I'm like, if you right. know my dad was deceased, and you still let a dead dad joke rip. What joke did you say to him where he had to go to that? Where was born? That's a great. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't even. I don't even. You remember. must have cut him deep. Bro. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Do Some I know? People Do just, I know? No. Some people just are they a comic? No. Who the fuck is this guy? This is just a nigga in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. This guy's fucking insane, dude. This is just a motherfucker. Do you remember the joke? Huh? Nah, it was just some, it was some shit like dead dad. I don't even remember the joke. I just like, sh- I guess I shut it out or some shit. Yeah. I just looked. I'm like, all right, nigga, whatever. That's that's the trigger. That and was, then I just let the, it. That's, that was a trigger. But that's the thing, though. I right, I'm triggered. Now what? Whatever Do you I, want it to be. What? But that's the thing. <laughs> some other shit going to come from me. If nah, I, if, you, you just say some wild shit about him. That, he's in your court. Like, you're doing comedy? <laughs> How low is the goddamn limbo bar? Can you go lower than that? Yes, you can go underground. You go underground. You go underground. We're talking about dead people. We're going underground. Right? We're going under that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm a maniac with that. Like, if I feel like someone's crossed the line, like, I just, it's, I go nuclear. I go nuclear. Oh, those, your, yo, those, yo, those parent jokes, I mean, you, Back in the day, you used to say your mama. Your mama. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but we used to be yeah, like, yeah. your facts, mama. Facts, yeah. you know, my mama dead. you like, oh, oh yeah. nigga shit. fuck up the whole road. You know what I'm the truth? But it's the truth. It's like, oh, facts. now you got to apologize. Oh, it's, you make everything right. uncomfortable. I'm thinking of the last thing that triggered me. Last thing, I, I, I got triggered the other day on social media. What happened? Because Van tweeted. Oh, boy. All he tweeted was, at least I'm not short. <laughs> oh shit! There was no context to it. <laughs> Nothing. And, the, and, the and you just took that to yourself. <laughs> and because you know what's so funny, Duval sent it to me, right? Oh, and the whole short community and it kept my heart saying, "Too short, hit us up." <laughs> <laughs> the 
and Duvall hit me up. And Duvall, so funny, Duvall hit me up. I, I probably shouldn't be saying it, but yeah, Duvall, say, tripped, say. Duvall said, he ain't even got no hoes. <laughs> <laughs> and you told for no reason. <laughs> And I'm like, well, he's engaged. I'm defending Van. I'm trying not to act triggered. But then but I'm like, you, you were hurt. why the fuck would you just tweet that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, At least yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. why would you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, sometimes social media will get you, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you're in your feelings. It's like a weird day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, and that's not even something I think about. I just want to know why are we on your mind? Yep. I knew what it felt like to be a marginalized person. I mean, I already yeah. do, but I really felt like that in that moment. Like, why are you shooting at short people for no reason? Yeah. You know? Yeah. He feels like he's better than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like one of them poor whites that's racist. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least like, I'm not, at least I'm not black. <laughs> at least I'm not black. <laughs> yeah, right. that, that's what he did, bro. That's what he did, oh, man. Sorry. One of the, the trailer park and shit, <laughs> yeah. bro. Oh, one of the capital rides getting arrested, getting out. At least I'm not black for no reason. You sit it to 30 years and you just look at the camera. At least yeah. I'm not black. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Damn, man. Bro. But yo, I do think that's a hate crime. I think Isaiah Lee should be charged with a hate crime. And I, I, I'm, I'm what shocked. What about that. what about Van? Do you think he should be that's hate uh -huh, speech? Hate speech. That was hate think, speech. That was hate speech. Should we get him speech. off Twitter? Should we talk to Elon about that? Does Elon really own Twitter? Uh not yet. That might be cap, bro. I don't think he wanted it. That might be. Cap. I never thought it was a good purchase to begin with. Mm. Twitter don't even have like Twitter's not even like a top fifteen social media app it's when not. it comes to when it comes to uh, user base. User base. What you mean? I mean, it's like they have they have the least user base of like fifteen other. I don't know user bases. Like, number the, number of people on oh, it. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like in the three hundred million range. And what's hard? What the fuck? But how many people around the world one. can like say what they feel? Mm. You know what I mean? Like Twitter in Saudi Arabia isn't lit. <laughs> right? It's just like, yo, the prince was doing cool shit again. Right? Like, you can't like Mad roast people. Yeah, like, oh, so much oil came out today. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> right, though? That's a fact. Can you really say what you want? In America? Anything? Yes. Van just called you and your whole <laughs> tribe of people, your Midgets. little Keebler Elf <laughs> community. He called you and all the people that live in the tree with you. <laughs> Useless, bro. That's what he At said. At least I'm not sure. He said that, bro. By the way, I wouldn't have minded the tweet with some context. Who the fuck you shooting at? But, but you oh, know, you no know ad. what? No ad, no nothing. <laughs> no. It's because people were co probably coming at him. Did Who? He, short, people. Know, short people. Short people was coming at him. <laughs> You know, but did he gain weight or something? Who, man? Yeah. yeah and the amount of times you made fun of promo. fat people. That's for book promo. Yeah, the amount of times you made fun of fat people, bro. That's for book promo. Come on. Oh, you can't wait for book promo. You're a savage. No, we was called fat crazy and tired. <laughs> <laughs> Van is always working out and he's got the sweatsuits on. And, 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 and this motherfucker is always like, yo, they got to put the music. Is y'all flipping the between? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 you you said put the Missy, no, Miss Tamina no, Alley in. Come no, on, Van, bro. Van sent out a, uh, he sent out a, 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 a video from the group chat of him boxing to the group chat, right? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. And he said it like it was me, glasses below in the head. And I go, yo, I go, yo, you got to take your shirt off, though. Show the back fat. Tyson Fury. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately on Twitter. At least say oh, short people. <laughs> Man, oh my man, God. Man. Listen, uh, Walmart discontinued the Juneteenth Great Value Ice Cream. Dre, I know you was going to get you a gallon. <laughs> nah, nigga. <laughs> nah, see, for, nah. I seen the Juneteenth com fucking commodity. Fuck. I'm not Bro, I, I literally had a fucking joke that I put out last year. Okay. About how it's going to be a, there's going to be Juneteenth discounts soon. Oh, yeah. And three fifths off everything, and uh, they literally three fifths off. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. So, so, but, uh, but, and then this year they fucking do it. What did we think was gonna happen That's in America? Worse. Everything, every holiday or event. Tragedy or not, yeah, yeah. there's going to be a sale attached to it. Yeah. We need to talk about this, man. And the reason we need to talk mm. about this is because do you want it isn't to be June, a holiday or hold not? Hold on. Isn't Juneteenth, shouldn't Juneteenth be like... About freedom? No, the end of sale. 
<laughs> they should be like, giving shit away. Yeah, like, they should be giving should, shit away. Should be free. That's a good fucking point. Be giving shit away. That's selling anything. Point. Like yeah, it's, that's we don't real. sell today. Anybody that's like, real. you pull up and get that shit free. So low key, if you really want to celebrate Juneteenth, you gotta not sell anything in your store that day. Or give a discount. A real discount, like free. Yeah, like, yeah. No, it gotta be free. Buy free. black, get one free, or something like that. Yo, sorry. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <this guy>. Anything <laughs> black? Yes. You just get one free. Yes, a shirt. You Bro. know, anything that's the yeah. color black. Speakers. There it is. You can roll these tires above the Mason Dixon line. Whoa. <laughs> it's yours. I'm serious. I just feel like, what did we expect? What you know what I'm saying? To, what? It's a holiday now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's not a holiday in America that is not monetized. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. How fucked up, who got shot, who died, if it's a tragedy or yeah. not. They're going to find a way to make some money off of it. I don't know who sells the Cinco de Mayo stuff. There's going to be 15% off somewhere, man. <laughs> like, no yeah, matter what it is, yeah. that 15% off coming. That means a lot to us, 15%. Any, any discount, motherfuckers yeah. will pull up. Yeah, Regardless. Yeah, it's so true. America won a sale, nigga. We how, love so, that. So how could you monetize Juneteenth stuff without offending? People? Without being without being hacked? I don't think so. I don't think you monetize it. Well, Juneteenth is the end of slavery, right? Yes. That's when this is this is no. the official end, right? No. It was a, like a day of freedom in Texas, but all black people just celebrated. It no, was, but it's based off yeah. the, the day of freedom is based off. Uh, yeah, but it's, it, was, it, was, it was specifically for Texas, though. But they were celebrating the freeing of slaves. Yes. It's not the Emancipation yeah. Proclamation. It, no. This is it's not the date of the Emancipation Proclamation. It's the date that slavery is officially it, outlawed. It, in the they, United States. They, yeah, they commemorate the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. June 18th, 1865. June 19th. Yes. June 19th, 1865. 1865. Okay. Or 19th. 18, yes. 18th or 19th. One of them. I think it varies. But <laughs> June 19th yeah, feel like it, no. <laughs> I mean, it is the night. No, it's the 19th. It's June 19th. It's 19th. Yeah, it's June 19th. 19th. June 19th. Okay, so so, so it's, it's not a, just a day in Texas, Nyla. And wasn't it some shit about like they they lied and that was the wrong date? Like niggas was free earlier, and then they told them later some shit like that. Well, in 1863, uh, Lincoln goes, "Yo, slavery's over." Juneteenth. And he ain't tell nobody black. Well, no, they but he did it. He okay, so the the North Organs. and the South are beefing, right? The North slavery's already over. Yeah. So then he says, "Yo." Slavery's over everywhere. And the South is like, we're our own country. Now you can't tell us everybody. what to do. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The origins. Of Hold on one second, because it's crosstalk. If you, we're both talking at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing that the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, you gonna let a white man over talk to you about Juneteenth? Wow. We're and all... you got an afro? <laughs> wow, Nyla. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is wild. I mean, what I had to say, I was showing you on the phone. But Schultz, okay. you've been over-talking you right? the entire time. No, no, no. Over-talking means like, if we're talking, if yes, you guys are you were, having a combo, you were doing we're that. Combo. You were doing that earlier as well. Over Drake telling the story to Charlemagne about some sneakers that's or some true. shit. What was that? You what was over talking. No, no, no. Over I don't, I, that's I don't she like showed when people. You the, the, the picture I don't like of, um, you, TK Kirkland, come on here and make all these rules about podcasts. Uh, like, listen, listen. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, okay, <laughs> over talking is maybe I use the wrong word, but if two different cross talking, yeah, cross talking. Cross -talking. Sorry, cross talking. Okay. Two cross -talking. different conversations are yes, over talking is what we do on this podcast. Okay, uh, <laughs> was what we do for a living. So do that. But if you guys are having a separate conversation, then it's hard for the listeners. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if we're talking about the same thing. We can over talk. Each yes, time. please. But, Cross talk, like it's like um, we're talking about this, and you start talking about Gatorade. Exactly, I think. Back to uh, <laughs> yes. back to back to Juneteenth, <laughs> our favorite day, <laughs> and it just makes it that much more heightened, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, so they were basically like, "Yo, slavery's uh, outlawed," and then the South is like, "What are you talking about? We're our own country." And then 1865, when mm -hmm. they you know got their ass kicked, then they're like, "All right, fine, all right, these now are the rules. fine, we get it. exactly." What Nyla is saying, Juneteenth was originally celebrated in Texas on June 19th, 1866, but that was the first anniversary of the day that African Americans there first learned of the Emancipation Proclamation. So that so just happened to be the area that they found out first. Two years after it was yes. initially issued, they got the memo late for whatever reason. Shut up. I didn't say. <laughs> you can't say it's because they black. You can't didn't work. They didn't tell us. I, didn't say I was saying because Texas. Texas is a big state. Yes, yeah, it's hard yeah. to get information to spread. You know, to everybody so, back then. Right, yeah. right. It took two years. Yeah, I think that. Uh, if any, if people were smart, what they what should have done for Juneteenth, they should have just collaborated with like black owned yeah. brands and black owned products. The only problem it I have it. is I didn't even know they had great value Juneteenth ice cream. 
And this goes back to something I said years ago. It's just like, why do we always lift shit up with hate? You know what I mean? We always talk about the things we don't like mm. so much. Who owns ice cream that is actually black owned? I saw Jasmine Brand posted today. I can't even remember their name. I just mm. saw that they posted it to say, hey, you know, mm. if you're looking for some ice cream to actually support, support this ice cream and it's a black owned brand. See if, see if you can find that. And that will go directly to the people. That's so what I'm better saying. contribution. Maybe that's all it is. Just partner with black people on how to do these mm. things. Because it's not like I don't want Juneteenth decorations. Shit, man. That's making me think of like. Do you want that though? I'm just if like. I'm celebrating Juneteenth. But is it is something to celebrate? Uh, it's just such an odd. Sneak, sneaker people, they be doing uh, like when February roll around, Black History Month sneakers come out. Black, yo, the, yeah, sec- yo, the second true. they come out, they got niggas with the fist it's on your yes, Jordans and shit. And shit. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was literally thinking about that day. I was like, okay, so they're mad about the Great Value Ice Cream. They definitely I guess I can Black understand why, but what about Black History Month? They yo, do mad, like, shit, you go play ball in. They put Black yeah, yeah. History shit on it. That's yeah. why you need BET, yo. And the reason I say this is why you need BET because this is what you used to see all the Black History Month commercials. Well, oh, okay, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What are what are celebratory things, right? Uh, July Fourth is a celebration because you like won your independence. What are other things like? I mean, shit. Of, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas, family shit. Yeah, yeah. like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I don't know. For me, it's like how do we, how do we. Uh, Celebrate. Hold on. A lot of crosstalk. That's a train wreck right there. Just <laughs> in the middle of the podcast, just here. Oh, hood cream. Oh, dairy free. Okay. In New Orleans. Hood oh, these are black owned brands? Ice cream? Oh, okay, shit. okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what about if it's not about celebrating brands? What if it's about celebrating cultural contributions? Because when I think of like the holidays we all get to participate in, like you think of like St. Patty's Day, uh, it ain't just yeah. Irish people doing that or even Cinco de Mayo. So it's like black people love black Cinco people have so much cultural like relevance and contributions. Why don't we just market holidays around those things? All, right, all we want is a day off and some drinks and some good food. Why are we acting Yo, like, like why are we acting like we're re, we're really some, some attached to shit. any of these high- I mean don't get me wrong if you're black no, you- then it's fire because and then I'm, oh, go go. A lot of these holidays we really shouldn't be celebrating anyway. Because they're just bullshit fucking marketing plays. They're so they bullshit can- or they're just really not in favor of us. Like, but that's Thanksgiving, my point. why are we celebrating Thanksgiving? Because it's food and drinks. We know the history of Thanksgiving. Damn, we're just happy potatoes, to have the day tomatoes, off. Yeah. Yeah. Happy yeah. to have some food. Cinco de Mayo, I don't know what Cinco de Mayo means other than this Mexican. <laughs> I don't know the meaning of it. I'm like, but I'm gonna eat me some tacos and drink me some tequila because I love yeah. tacos and tequila. But it, it also oper- it gives you this opportunity, this small window where you get to kind of like embrace. It's an excuse, a to- different culture. Yes, yeah, I and agree. it's like I don't know why don't we take these cool cultural contributions that Black people have made to America and that are part of like the fabric that is America, and then build holidays around that so that we're not constantly celebrating Black trauma. It's like Juneteenth is more Black trauma. Everything is. Black uh, trauma. It's like Thanksgiving is Native American trauma. It's uh, it's fucking not really. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it is. No, we were eating, bro. After that was traumatic. Y'all but was like, no, they ate with us. They taught us how to eat the shit. Corn. You know, the white people didn't know what corn was, but then they took them out. <laughs> That's later, later dog. We're not celebrating later. <laughs> Don't talk about that. that yeah. Is- why we gotta bring that up? Why you always bring up old shit? Because because Native Americans hate Thanksgiving. <laughs> Says who? Native Americans. Native Americans. No, they don't. <laughs> I've never spoken to a Native American. All bro. the time. No, you have one on the podcast. Who could be what faking? Are you talking about? That's Cap, bro. Man, shut up, man. That's Cap. I need your papers. <laughs> I need to see your papers, bro. Salute to my guy, Giafi. Salute to Queen Yanasta. I rock with the Native Americans, man. No, no, I fuck with Native, Native Americans. I'm just trying to say, like, it'd be cool if we celebrate things that everybody's excited about and proud of. As a country. Yeah, like Mardi Gras fire, right? Because... The whole city gets involved and you get to tap into this culture. What's the history behind my I show? have no, no idea. But yeah. I, bet I, you, no I bet you we could dig and yeah. find something that be like, ah, oh, why like, is that? Fucked up shit. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Any, I don't know what Mardi Gras is. But I, yeah. But I imagine it's like this amalgamation of all the fat culture. Friend? Say what? You want to phone a fat friend and that's man? Yo, man. Phone a fat friend and that's hilarious. What is Marty Gras? Gras? You want to tell me? <laughs> yo, okay, yeah, call, call. Nala, why do you keep knocking over the <laughs> no, camera, yo? No, it's whenever he, you hit the table. Oh, I'm sorry. The table. Hold on. That. I won't hit the table. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, the, <laughs> the thing you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell, Don't tell Van that we said phone a fat friend. I just wanted to <laughs> that's a great get segment. the tweets later in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good segment. So why is everybody saying this? Phone a fat friend. Yo, Van, 
What's good? Hold on, you on the podcast. I got uh, Andrew and uh, Andre. I don't know if you ever met Andre. Listen, what's the history of Mardi Gras real quick? Because it sounds like you were working out. Oh, no. I'll, yeah, I just finished boxing. What's the history of Mardi Gras? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a religious situation. It's like um, it's celebrating. Uh, it's like a celebration before Lent. Oh, Here in America, yeah. it's like it's a, basically a Catholic tradition. Here in America, first Mardi Gras was actually not in New Orleans. It was in Mobile, Alabama. Um, and then New Orleans, because of the French influence and the Haitian influence and the Spanish influence, became probably the biggest one. But it moves around with the with the Christian Catholic calendar. And stuff. Okay, it's so a big well, celebration before Lent. So what we're we're saying is we could basically with most holidays, you probably could find something that you don't agree with to not celebrate it. What if I'm boycotting Catholic priests? Well, I mean, the reality is you don't even need to boycott Catholic priests to to, uh, to boycott Mardi Gras. The Catholic Church deep, deep, deep into the slave trade. And uh, a lot of the culture that exists in New Orleans right now is due to the influx of slaves that came from the, the, the port of New Orleans. Mm. So if you were like, fuck slavery, you would not have to celebrate Mardi Gras. Like, you don't even need the fact that the priests are fucking little boys now, there's myriad reasons you can decide that Mardi Gras is something that you really want to celebrate. But See? yeah, to your point, sure. Yeah. See? That's some shit. And All that's right. supposed to be some hot <laughs> shit. Get what back about Halloween? <laughs> what? Get back to the work. I'll get you back. <laughs> That's why you gotta have a fat friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was, is that the, you know what I'm saying? That's why you're, you're clowning him for not moving around, but he's moving. He's reading books. Uh, yeah, That's, yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's stationary yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know they had all these ice <laughs> creams. Hood cream, York Castle ice cream company, Ruby Scoops ice cream and sweets, goodies, frozen cut. If, if, oh, they gotta do menthol and chip. <laughs> this guy. If they Menthol wanted, if funny. they wanted to do an ice cream, they should have collaborated with one of those companies. Right. Nobody would have had a problem with it. And why would you have ice cream for Juneteenth, knowing how many black people are lactose intolerant? Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Like celebrate contributions, dude. That that'd be fire. But well, they gotta, like, like, they gotta with... like admit love and admiration for what black people gave to the country. And I don't think No, they don't. I, I, that's what I'm saying. The, I think the, that's what's missing, which is why they don't have those but, types of celebrations. But when the celebration is so fire, you just want to take part of it. That FOMO kicks in. Like nobody is admitting love and admiration for single de Mayo, but they're like, I need to be part of this shit. It's fire. Same thing with St. Patty's Day, same thing with Christmas. Like I, I think, think that's, I, I, yeah. I think y'all are both saying the same things, right? Because yeah. I think we need new holidays and new tradition because clearly there's so much, you know, negative stigma and things we don't know about attached to a lot of yeah, these things. Like, I didn't know nothing about Mardi Gras. Yeah. So what Dre is saying, like, yo, let's start celebrating the contributions black people made. Like, that would be dope if we created peanut a new butter tradition. Day. Like, but everybody like, celebrates. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like, I'm saying, like, even peanut him, butter, Yo, people ain't gonna jump like on peanut butter. He's like a major botanist, but they don't even... Bring that shit up. Yeah, it's just peanut butter. They just talk yeah. about peanut butter. You think butter. you can this peanut butter randomly? Everything. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's That's like a, a Marvel character. character. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yo, National Hip Hop Day would rip. That should be a thing. Bro, and I'm... we celebrated hip hop and all hip hop's contributions a, that to American thing. and world Dude, culture. They have it on his birthday. Hip hop's birthday. <clears throat> it's like August 13th or something. Let's like celebrate that. it. That'd be a that big day. Be, they, have a jazz, day. they have like Jazz Fest Word. and like Jazz Week and a bunch of different parts of the world, right? Yes. yes. And clearly, this is black cultural influence, right? Yes. And it's a dope festival. I think they do it up in Montreal. I think they have another one down in New Orleans, New Orleans. stuff like that. Like they do, right? Yeah. So it's like people are already doing it. It just really takes a little bit more organization and going, hey, this is really important to why America is the way it is. But it needs like a coach, like an overall it appreciation Walmart, for it. It needs Walmart to go, yo, we going <laughs> to start selling it. Yo, uh, weirdly, yeah. That's the fucked up <laughs> Sell the pinatas, bro. What if we just did a national day of unity? Nobody's going to do that. Wait, <laughs> that's the, it's, I, am, I hear you. I feel you. But they not riding nah, with that. That sounded wild. I was, I was wild gay right there, bro. Look at that. <laughs> listen, where you're forced to go across the aisle. I feel you, You know bro. what I mean? Where you're forced Damn. to kick it with somebody from another political party, another religion, another race. Like, you have to I go do it. Cool. Cultural Exchange Day. What is I Dr. Like that. Omar We had that in college. Dr. At, Cultural Exchange Day? At wow. St. John's, yeah. So it would be like booths where you can have like yeah. Asian food, you can oh, have like African that's food. Dope. You can, yeah. They do that. That's cool. That's Where cool. at St. John's? See what I'm saying? No, yeah. that's cool. And, and, and they do that probably just for camaraderie, camaraderie on campus, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. can't we do that in the world? Because yeah, yeah, by the way, we do it anyway. 
We already going to the Chinese restaurant to eat. Mm. Why not go in there and kick it with them? You know what I mean? Let them come to the soul food spot, whatever. Like, why not? I, you know, I think they got to want to go. That feel, that feel like it's so a you trap, like they bro. Do go? I'm saying like they would have to want it too. Like it'll have to be a mutual thing. Cultural yeah. exchange. I like so that. sometimes you bring up the Chinese restaurant. I remember like growing up, going to the Chinese restaurant. You trying to be like, let me be friendly. I, let me yeah. try to be shit. I've learned how I watch certain shit. I learned how to say thank you. Let me try to say thank you in yeah. Mandarin. I do it, and they like don't give a fuck. Yeah, they, yeah. they just yeah, yeah. Uh, friendly. Yeah. yeah. You definitely what do you want, this. nigga? Yeah. Like that's yeah, the yeah, end yeah, of it. Yeah. I like that name you came up with though. Cultural exchange change day like that's because that's kind of what we want yeah to be like all right this is what you fuck with this is what i fuck with it's hard to market and people would have to be optimistic and respectable to each other a lot of people aren't i should because you got to have that curiosity to even want to be like all right what do you people what i can't wait i can't wait for that booth because what i would do is is i just would have nothing in my booth and i would just go around to everybody else's booth and i take (laughs) one of each of their things and then I would go this back to the and I'm like, yeah, okay. that's right. fire, dude. Uh, okay. We say dude, cultural. white culture's the best, bro. <laughs> we <laughs> still. <laughs> Yo, that's so sick. We got to come to a happy medium because we can't get mad when somebody, when, when it's a Juneteenth holiday coming up and people have Juneteenth products. You know what I mean? And you can't get mad every time you see a black man with a white woman or vice versa because Dr. Umar has been on fire. This oh, year. He, he, be he be killing them. Every single day. Every single day. Every day. I'm sending memes out. They're like, yo, is that real? I'm like, yo, yo Dr. Umar is letting these fly from his tweets. Yeah. Yo, the yeah. goat. The goat. The goat. The goat. The goat. I, mean, I, would, I would make him my real doctor if it was legal. Oh so like, I would make him my actual real doctor if it was legal. He oh. was killing. He, 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 uh, he hit poor Jamie. Jamie oh, he Fox hit Jamie. has been snow bunny. <laughs> Show it to him. <laughs> That's real. This is on oh his my actual gosh. Instagram. <laughs> no. Oh, and then, yo, Devin, how you going to lose to Luca and then pull this oh, ish? And he's oh, with, with Kendall or Kylie. Yeah. With yeah. Kendall at the wedding. That's oh, Dr. Umar's shit. real page. That's, That's not a parody That's page or nothing. Nope. Dr. Umar is shooting from the hip. He's a go. And then he, start, he started it last week, which I didn't agree my with. My favorite I, comedian. <laughs> that's my favorite comedian <laughs> but it comes I don't agree with going at people's kids because I didn't understand why everybody yeah, was yeah, getting yeah. so upset with uh, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron being with the leave the, the kids the out of this leave the kids out of that, it bro. leave the kids out of it and also we do that's have to that's my trigger kids when they mess with kids yeah, me stop too stop talking about the kids me too. man me too me yeah. too me too only because as a parent your, your, your one job you feel like is to protect you know your, your children and you yeah. cannot protect them from the wrath of of the social internet. media. And you don't know yeah, what, yeah. I mean, I'm sure LeBron James' kid grew up in a very different neighborhood with, you know, it's a certain level of money. Ain't that many black kids over there. It's, it's going to be different. The people yeah. he around on a daily basis is not... Yeah, it's a numbers t- game yeah, at this point. Yeah. yeah. It's different. Hey, he's in he's in L.A. right now. Give him a minute. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Give him a minute for his life to shape up. He gonna, he gonna meet his, he gonna meet his own. Yeah. He gonna meet one of these beautiful sisters in a minute. But now it's his prime picture? That was his prom picture. Yeah. 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 Fucking and poor girl, too. Is like, like they just trashing this fucking girl and on the day where and she thinks she's the most beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a kid. That's the, right. There is the thing, though. We have to come to... Uh, we got to come to terms with interracial relationships. Because, I think we've come to terms with that. But here's my thing. If, if you're mad at interracial relationships, yeah. then that means you can't appreciate the fruit, right? You shouldn't mm. like the fruit. Ooh. So that means no Obama. Thanks. No Devin Booker. No Devin Booker. No Drake. Lolo Jones. No J. Cole. He said, no, Angelo. Nobody cares, Sorry. Angelo. Like, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a miss. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean oh, King? Oh, yeah, Sean. <laughs> Sean King. No, no, no. We're claiming him. He's, he's full white. He's full white. <laughs> that's the Caucasian Yeah, man. That's, that's my guy. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you can't be against interracial relationships, <laughs> yeah. but then celebrate biracial People. Mm. Don't you think it's a little contradictory? Yes, it is, 100%. I think so. 100%. But that's how you get to them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm only annoyed with interracial people that, like, get too, they too happy about it. Like, <laughs> I got a white girl. Like, you weird. Man. Yeah, are there, yeah, are there yeah, yeah. Guys that do that? that? Like, celebrate? Absolutely. Yeah, your you man. You weird as shit. Absolutely. Your man, Hubert Davis. That, what's the coach from the, for, yeah, from the Tar Heels? Yeah. That's what's his name? suspect as shit. Like, you a weirdo, nigga. That's so peculiar to even. To not have like any insecurity about I'm that. dating a white man now. Bitch, you weird as shit. Because of this. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, North Carolina, it, it, it's North Carolina in a press conference. We we played it, played it. He accepted, he's accepting the job 
And he's just <laughs> randomly talking. And he goes, I'm also proud that my wife is white. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck was that about? Like, you never That's heard that shit? No. Yes. I'm also proud of my I'm wife. I'm also proud of my wife is white. Yeah. I'm like, now, was he trying to say something like... I don't know what he was trying to say. I listened to it a few times. fumbled hard. I'm African. Oh, <laughs> like, why? I'm oh, proud. We gotta send that to Dr. Umar right now. Man. <laughs> I'm proud of my wife. Dr. Umar, I don't... Um, I know that in terms of Division One head coaches are all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division One men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African Americans. I know that a compromise. It is significant. Surprise. That I'm fourth African American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African American, <laughs> but I'm also very proud that my wife is white. <laughs> and I'm very proud that my it's a wild guy, unbelievable man. kids are a combination. Yeah, that's, a, that's funny as shit. That's a wild guy, man. That's this dumb funny. That's, how, did, how did I not know that? <laughs> that's fucking great. So, did they win the championship this year? Who won it? No. They lost the championship game. Yeah, I yeah, should have yeah. just done that instead of my vows. <laughs> I'm proud of my wife. Yeah, yeah. I should have just Damn, that. baby, you white as fuck. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yo, Thank you all for being here. I'm very proud that my wife is white. Oh, I'm sorry. By, the, I keep <laughs> no, oh my By the way, I'm not mad at you for repping your set. That's it, funny. Like, if that's your I shit, rep your shit. You're like, yo, I'm proud to be African American. I'm proud, yeah, I'm proud, of, I'm proud that my wife is white. One don't have nothing to do with the other, but if that's your shit, that's your but shit. But that's the thing, though. It shouldn't be based on her whiteness. You should be proud of who your she wife, is period. or how she treats you, how she holds you down. But that's the white is right complex. That's right. That's the way. That, and that's complex. how you know it's a complex. That's how you know he is very happy to be with a white woman. And that is like a a a, a, a trophy to That's him. his Mommy nigga, issues. we made it moment. You know what I mean? You think it's mommy issues? Why? But on the flip side, I'm proud I got a black wife, but it's only because of guys like him. Well, I think your pride comes from like, there's like a, there's like a hate or there's already a thing looming that's right. over us to be in love and to support each other. That's right. But there's not much that's right. on that side. He's just doing that to just be... But that's <laughs> I mean, Because of guys like him is why I celebrate mm. having a, a, a black wife. It's why I celebrate black love. I have no problem with interracial Shit, relationships. It was government interference in black love. So that they, you have Literally. like a right to have yeah. pride. Absolutely. They would yeah. try to separate. It was, that's, there's like legal papers and motherfuckers trying to alter that. So for you to still be able to do it and like overcome the all of the shit. Don't worry about that's where the pride comes from. But for you to just be like, I bagged the white girl. I'm proud. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Now, to, 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 to that point, there was a period where if you did get with a white girl, you, that's because they you, you thought did feel you like it was, was dirty, nigga. Okay, What's Kendrick. But we were saying that before, Kendrick. Where do you think Kendrick got it from? There was a point where people used to think that being with a white woman was a form of reparations. It was like, that's, get back. That's just programming. And it's not, it's not actual get back. You don't get nothing. Mm -hmm. You bust a nut and you still a broke nigga. <laughs> nothing changed for you. <laughs> nothing changed for you. Damn, at, least, like, at least I ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't make your life better because you bagged Rebecca. Jesus you living the same, son. Oh, man. Let's some what if you get a Latina, though? I don't know. I'm going to tell you when Latinas... I mean, don't get me wrong. Latinas have always been hot, but when Wu-Tang said Butter Peak and Rican... <laughs> When Wu Tang said Butter Peak and Rican, you wanted to have one just to say you had a Butter Peak and Rican. Mm. He did. He, they, when they, it when became they, a trend. It became a trend thing. Yeah. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Spanish women are beautiful at and, and, um, any time. But when, well, the beautiful ones are. <laughs> <laughs> with any woman, yes. yeah. But when you use Butter Peak and Rican, you wanted that Butter Peak and Rican yeah. because of that song, Ice Cream. Yeah. Butter yeah. Peak and Rican, French Vanilla Chocolate Deluxe. Oof. I, feel you know you with, I feel you with the song things. That made me think of like, Reggae songs. You ever grew up Jamaican household? There's a lot of like references to like brown, like browning is like a thing. But they talking about like a brown girl skin color, like a oh, black woman. Man. Yeah, so they call a girl browning. That was something to attain. Like you want like a you pretty, want a yeah, you want a pretty black girl because like that's like the music. That's like the hot shit to have. I never heard that song. Says I, I need Bougie that song. Bunton. Bougie, really? Yeah. Shot one time for Bougie. I didn't it's know like, that. Like, but that's like common. There's a couple artists that have that. That's like a regular term. No, that's been my thing lately. I mean, not lately, but I, I always let my daughters hear songs that have like 
No, like real uplifting girl, shit. Yeah, NBRE, yeah. Re, brown skin. You know what I mean? Oh, like, put her on to reggae. That's that's. Oh wait, there. wait now. Hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> hold on now. Hold on. Reggae's Friday. Yeah. Oh, you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yes, it's, it's a colorful color color culture. <laughs> We're all learning one step at a time. <laughs> Touche. Oh, let's pay some bills, man. Um, blue Chew. Salute to Blue Chew, man. This year, it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Blue Chew can help. Guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, you're at your best, especially when it com- comes time to step up to the plate. That's what Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. But in chewable tablets, not a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day and night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Bluetooth tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So, if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help, okay? It don't matter if you're married. It don't matter if you're still, you know, single and, and, and trying to mingle. You all can use performance-enhancing drugs in the bedroom, okay? And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use your prom- use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. You want to do Babble? Hell yeah! Um, guys, this episode has also been brought to you by Babbel. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I always found it incredibly difficult to learn languages in school. I was fortunate enough to uh, to go live in Spain for a little bit, and I was able to get some Spanish down out there, and that's because I immersed myself in it. Now, Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions so far is addictively fun and an easy way to learn a new language. And that's what you need to do. You need to gamify it, okay? Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. I'm telling you, life changes. You learn, learn a new language, the world opens up to you. Conversations you never thought you'd have, uh, cultures you never thought you'd really truly understand. Language is the key to all of it. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts, okay? Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective with Babbel. You can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German, plus Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent, which is major, major, major. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, even live classes, plus it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash idiots. That's babbel.com slash idiots for up to 60 percent off your subscription babble the language for life now let's get back to the show let's get back to the show we got church announcements show what you got shit oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the tour is over man I, i'm like i actually for the first time in a long time feel like i got some time i got um i'm cooking up something i'll i'll, I'll talk about it next week. yeah um great you got any church announcements that's the part of the show where we Talk about any upcoming shows you got? Or? Yeah, like shows the spots around the city and shit. Follow me on Andre D. Thompson. You find it like that. But right. that's really it. Great. Um, he'll be, he, he wrote for me last season on The God's Honest Truth. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's back on uh, season two. Amazing. Yeah. When it, when Whatever is that? we're naming it. Oh, you think you'll switch it? Probably. Really? Yeah. Why do you think? I just, I, it's above me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I, 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 I see the reasonings. I what see, are they? What are they saying? Uh, yeah, that's that's some inside baseball talk. Nobody cares about that kind of stuff. But season two is coming. Back. I like that shit. Yeah, season two. Season two is definitely. Uh, we be we back in. I like that name too. Back yeah, I really do like the name. Yeah, why? Well, I like the name. I'm gonna ask you off the show if you ain't gonna say. Oh that. yeah, yeah. I yeah. tell y'all. Yeah. I definitely, I'll definitely tell y'all off the show. I definitely tell y'all off. Really? Yeah. yeah. But I like it. It put it like this: it 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 gives us the best possible chance to really, really win. 
Because uh, TV is a different game now. Oh, really? You know yeah. what I'm saying? TV is, we all know, TV is not what it used to be. Yeah. You know, so they call it TV programming. Okay. For a reason. Yeah, you got to program. And, and sometimes you got to trust the programmers. Oh, you shit. You know what I mean? Oh, well, maybe, I mean, using your name? Definitely. That's what I would do. Definitely. But it, the crazy part is it's in there. It's, I guess maybe it's too repetitious, the God's honest truth with Charlemagne the God. Yeah, by the time, like, at least for me, when I'm scrolling on TV, which I haven't done in a while, but like, you only have so many characters you're going to see. Oh, that's true. The first yeah, thing yeah. I want to see is the guy's name who's more famous than the network, most likely. So like, I think you, like, who else is on Comedy Central right now that's bigger than you? I mean, are this, oh yeah, Trevor. And then Tosh. Is they Tosh probably still, still do Central? Tosh? I don't, I don't know. I don't think Tosh is still on. What I'm trying to say Aquafina? is like, Aquafina, but like what I'm saying is like your your fame will bring so much attention. To your point, Aquafina show is called Aquafina is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nora from, from Queens. Queens. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yes. To like your point. if you were making a YouTube fucking title, are yes. you gonna put let's say you're sitting down with Drake. All right. Are you gonna have Drake be the last fucking the last thing, thing on it? On. Or is it gonna be Drake says this? Yeah. So every single person on that scroll sees Drake. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So you just answered your own question. You just saying, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you what goddamn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking right I did. Charlemagne's on his trip. That's what it is, yeah. you know. Um, but salute the. Uh, I want to salute the the Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. Um, they got their their um annual New York issue is out right now. Mm. I think um, uh, I think Sarah, Sarah Sarah Jessica Parker and her husband are on the cover. Oh, yeah, Matthew mistaken. Broderick. Matthew Broderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, Ferris Bueller, bro. Legend. Boom. Ah, Come Ferris on, man. Bueller. Absolute yeah. legends. Bro. I knew yeah. how he looked familiar. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no. This guy's unbelievable. No. This guy's unbelievable. I know. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yo, why does Sarah Jessica Parker husband look so familiar? I know I'm you. like, this ain't Mr. Big. I'm like, who is this? That's Mr. fucking Big. Ferris Bueller, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Ferris older Bueller. now. You got the grades. I didn't, yeah, you're right. I'm like, yeah, oh, shit. Ferris Bueller. But I, and I, but I did say, I was like, whoever that is looks good. Like, that's, like, whoever that is, people are going to look at that and be like, he, he's aging well. Yeah. Okay, and I can say now, Ferris Bueller is aging well. Yeah, yeah, But they, yeah. they, uh, the Hollywood Report, they put out their New York issue, and they named me one of the uh, top 35 most powerful people oh, in media Big in New York City. So that was, thank you. That was, that was, that was cool. You know what I mean? Earned. Yeah. Very earned. 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 And, and it's dope, because it, I'm not going to lie, I didn't realize... I never realized what those lists do, bro. What's that? Mm. Shit changed after the list came out. Those lists changed. Really? Like yeah. what? What do you mean? <laughs> they do. Like the, opp the opportunities and the requests that come through after really? stuff. Really? I ne yo, I'm not gonna lie. I never knew because you know we sitting there all the time and we like we don't you know we don't care about yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, I understand it now. I get it. I get why people care about being on that kind of shit. So I can only imagine what. Being on the Times, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Power yeah, yeah. One Hundred list. Got gotcha. you. Because yeah, because yeah, like these executives of these major companies, I'm sure you're doing uh, deals with or like getting opportunities for old school corporate Hollywood, maybe. And they just have to organize the world in some way. They can't be on YouTube all day seeing who's <laughs> got you, who's not. Right? Like they That's get right. the Times, they have Hollywood Reporter, right. they have these other things. Go, okay, who are the influencers in the market? That's right. Okay, let's talk to them. Let's do that. That's right. It's it, yeah. it, like it's, it's old school. Corporate Hollywood. Yeah, it makes sense. They still, that's their thing. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what they see. So it's just like, oh. I mean, I'm sure if like you're on the top 30 under 30 list or something like that for businesses, yeah. I bet you JP Morgan the next day calls True. you and the banks call you and they're True. like, hey, how do we work to, well, well together? But yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Well, good for you. I Shit. like that times list too. The reason I like that times list is because it seems pretty balanced. Times because or Hollywood the time, Reporter? Hollywood Reporter too, but definitely. But the times... The times list seems very balanced. And I'll tell you why, because they'll salute an icon like Mary J. Blige, mm, okay, which word. she deserves. They'll mm -hmm. salute somebody like Quest Love. He's having a phenomenal year. Okay. But then we they, and under the influence, they had like leadership. Okay. They had Putin, bro. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I mean they had to they had the president I mean, of China, he's a bro. Well, and guess who they, so had, guess who they had guess who they had next to him? Guess who was on there with them? Rogan. Yeah. Like literally oh, wow. it was Putin, Rogan. And the then if you use, like, history I mean, metric, metrics, go, 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 they're talking go. about, like, 
influence, bro. Like, That's what I'm saying. A motherfucker, Rogan, back in 1800s, could take a country over. Oh, he's. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, I think. Okay. I think time. Someone looked this up. If I'm not mistaken, I think time put Hitler on. Really? I think he was. Can you look that up to see if he was one of them? And it's not like who's the good guy, who's yeah, the it's bad just objective guy. Objective shit. It's who. I yeah. I think. Well, look at. I'm sure the context of Hitler wasn't in a positive. No, no, it, it's yeah. never. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, but the fact that you have this type of influence or you're, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if it was man of the year or some shit like that. But like, but, yeah. It, but you can't lie about. You could put out a list and act like this motherfucker who is waging war in Europe right now powerful. is not influential. Yeah. It's probably. not influential. Like, yeah, like come, come on. on, come on, come on. Come and on. They, had, they had the president in Ukraine on there too, but I'm just like, wow. And I'm. I'm, I'm Say again. Huh? 1938. So this is before Damn. World War II. I need context. They put him on. I think they gave him like fucking man of the year or some shit. No. Yes, bro. Wow. This is before World War II. Wow. Ooh, man of the year. right there. 1938. Yeah. Well, Time Magazine. Yo, That looked like one that might come back to haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oh, well, times were different back then. Oh, were they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't give us none of those excuses. Jesus Christ. But I just like the fact that, you, like you said, you can't deny certain people's influence. Mm -hmm. Now in influence. You might disagree yeah. with their politics. You mm -hmm. might disagree with their point of view, but you cannot deny their influence. 100%. Hey, hey. Hey, um, Brendan Langley. What's this? You know who that is? That don't no, ring a bell? No. You didn't see Brendan Langley getting into a fight at you at the Newark airport? Yo, yeah. I didn't oh, know that was Newark. Oh, oh, oh. With the United that was guy? Newark. Yeah. EWR! Some, some like bag checking nigga smacked him and yes. he leaked. Yeah. I don't think he was a nigga. Dre, that's not oh, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use it very loosely. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta target my words better. <laughs> that's a not young Hispanic fellow. I, I, I think he was whatever. Hispanic, right? I think so. Yeah. Can you imagine? He had to hear. Knocking him the fuck out. No, can you imagine somebody a flight somebody at the airport smacking the shit out but of you? Over what? Like why would why would he feel like he has to do that? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm trying to understand. Like is oh, something he was transpired smiling before. too. I watched oh, the video. He man. was like laughing and Ooh, the Puerto Rican dude? Yeah, yeah, the dude smacked him and then son was like, oh word. Brendan. Brendan said, Do you see what he did? That's what I like. <laughs> yeah. He brought awareness to the situation. Yeah. Did you see what he did? Yo. Cause I need more than me as a witness. <laughs> something <laughs> cracked him. <laughs> I need to see what happened. I wish he wish he ended up on the fucking conveyor belt though. Yeah, he almost hit him onto oh, the. Oh, that was good. If he ended up on the conveyor uh, belt, and then and dude then came he back, got pulled off, son. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell y'all something. Even though all of that was justified, because uh, he did slap smack Brendan, that is pain, bro. Who who's that in pain? fucking airline worker was fed the fuck up about something for you to get into a, your your a customer's face and smack the shit out of him for what? Yo, I mean, I don't know. Alec Baldwin said the guy working at the airport is the victim. That's what he said. Yes, he sir. came to work to do a job. The other guy <laughs> with, with his, big, his big mouth is guilty of workplace abuse. Not where really. people come to work with an expectation of safety and even civility. Oh, mm -hmm. Alec Baldwin said yeah, this? Yeah. The shooter? The yeah. shooter. <laughs> safety <laughs> and civility. Like, come to you work. You killed up, somebody nigga. at work. <laughs> yeah. A.B. A B don't be playing. Shooting at work. <laughs> she yeah. was at work. A B yeah. don't be playing. Holding that kid. Man. A B wow. don't give a fuck. That's he different. really don't, bro. A B's letting y'all know, <laughs> like, you know. That's that's I know y'all know what I did. He don't care. But I didn't mean to do it. So care. I'm not gonna walk around here acting yeah. guilty because y'all want me he's, to. He really is zero remorse. <laughs> that's different. He's still doing Jesus podcasts. Christ. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, what? Does he talk about the, the incident? I hope. <laughs> I hope. What else is there to talk about? You gonna give your opinions on fact? That's, that's something uh, else. Uh, the crazy part is he said people come to work with an expectation of safety, even <laughs> civility. Not he works shot. at the airport. Yeah. I am almost positive that if you work at the airport, you know shit gonna pop. You know yeah. you're getting screamed yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. somebody gonna be what mad about this. I gotta know what he said. I gotta Ooh. know what he said. Who? I gotta know what the black dude said to the Hispanic dude. I gotta. He, he probably just wanted to fucking book me on another flight. Oh, and you, I don't want to fucking know. Shit. Some silly. That know. Spanish dude probably is one of them type of people that does that shit. That's like uh, I'm just doing my job. Like yeah. they take too much pride in their little power and yeah. get a little carried away. And nice. somebody brought him back. Yeah. <laughs> like, Not stereotyping here, but he said something a little more spicy than that. Because if you step up into a black person's face like that and yeah. smack them, yeah. oh, so you, you were Jersey talking spicy like, before that. You in Jersey like, come on, bro. There's no way. And he's a former NFL player. Who? Brendan. The oh. guy who beat the dude up. The oh, black what? dude. Oh, yes. Wow. 
Yo, that's a yeah, 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 yeah. He wasn't small. And he should sue United Airlines. He should. He, he should touched. sue United Airlines. That man touched. smacked you for no Yo, reason. Did you guys see what they reported that the dude that got dragged out of the United flight made in the lawsuit? I'm oh, like, and the, the, the Asian guy that got yeah. dragged out yesterday? Did you see? No. Nah. This has to be bullshit. What? How much? Just guess. Ten million. Nah, I'll say about, about 40, 50. 100 30 nah, million nah, or something that. it was reported. Look nah, that nah. up right there. In I American think it's dollars? capped. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe that. that that's, there's no way, right? Everybody should pay me more for everything. If that money exists, everybody should pay me more for everything. I don't give a fuck. If you could give him 130 mil for crying, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Don't believe that. Cut the check. What, 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 what did he say? Emotional distress? And uh, distress. concussion and uh, injury? 130. Nah, not 130. Where you saw that? Wow. I don't think you should get a penny. Why? <laughs> Why are you causing a ruckus, bro? 140 million? Damn. Nah, nah B. That's nah, what's up. That's nah, what's up. The timing. Timing. I mean, no, no, it's nuts. But timing, <laughs> timing, <laughs> timing. Hate to say it, when certain things happen in culture, it benefits things like oh, that. Oh, Stop so, Asian Hate? That's right. So that yeah, happened, yeah. then Stop Asian Hate happened. They were just like, yo, let's just do the right thing. When nah, that's not the right thing. That. No, no. 140. They, they didn't start with the drag. I will say this. They asked him, right? I'll say this. The way they dragged him off was excessive. All right. So the pain. Yo, can we really keep it a buck? Mm -hmm. If he was Middle Eastern, he's not getting nothing. Mm, what do you mean? Like, yeah. if he's Muslim? Middle Eastern, yeah. Oh, if he was Muslim, passengers would have helped him. They would have helped. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> the nah, passengers nah, would have got him. We know that. That's, that's we know shit. that. Yeah. So it's like he's getting 140 million off of some guilt shit. That's crazy. That's, that's some no shit. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Wow. It's bullshit. If, yeah, yeah, it's bullshit. It's like when that little kid who made the clock, remember that little motherfucker? The Muslim kid went to school with a clock or whatever. Oh, yes. He made a bomb looking like thing to, to cause a controversy. And he was like, why is everybody mad? Yeah. Kept showing it to people and then they had to pay his ass a bunch of money. Fuck that. 140 million just to get dragged off of a plane. Right. It, no, no, no. <laughs> It's crazy. It's not. <laughs> You're trying to think where yeah, you could have went. Yeah, where could I have gone? How did I fuck my now? money up? Anybody drag me off and fucking play? That was 40 million yeah. dollars. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come Jesus come on, come on. Christ, man. Yeah. <sighs> what else we got, Taylor? Should we pay a couple more bills? Oh, you know what? Let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I, uh, I need to help you with your health. You know, we're talking a lot about uh, fat people today and. Uh, in a good way, in a good way. And, you know, with short people, there's nothing you could eat and change about your lifestyle that's going to make you not short. So there's nothing we could do there. There might be a surgery. But if you're ready to take your health to the next level, and I'm not just talking about fat people. I'm literally, literally talking about everybody. Athletic Greens is going to help you out. I started doing this Athletic Greens. I was like, listen, I need to look at my body and I need to make sure that I'm giving all the nutrients that it needs. And I can't count every single fucking meal, making sure I'm getting enough vegetables and all this shit. But I can do Athletic Greens. And I'm telling you right now, with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, so the AG1 right here, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I don't even know what the hell that is, but I'm telling you, it's got me feeling good to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, okay? Your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All the things I'm telling you, it is for me, it has been a game changer, okay? It has been an absolute game changer. I have never felt more healthy. I have never had more energy. I'm, I'm feeling good. This is what you need, and it's the easiest start to the day, okay? Now, uh, tons of people, uh, you know, they, they take some kind of multivitamin. It's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb, okay? There's a lot, a lot of bullshit vitamins on the market right there, and that's not why you're getting the, the feedback that you want from those vitamins. So this is lifestyle friendly. Whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, this has got your back and you can do it. You're going to be good to go. AG1 contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything while still tasting good. It costs you less in $3 a day. You're investing in your health and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. It definitely is cheaper than mine. And not only does Athletic Greens come recommended by professional athletes, Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews. Think about that right there. The people have proven it. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every single day. That's it. 
No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic uh, Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Look at that. That's a lot for free right there. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash idiots. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash idiots to take ownership over your health and pick up your ultimate daily nutritional insurance. That's right. And uh, we got a salute Policy Genius too, man. Policy Genius, thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots this week. If you're buying a home, you've got a lot to juggle. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare insurance quotes from top companies so you can find your lowest price fast. Customers have saved an average of 250 or 350 per year on home insurance. If you're not sure what coverage you need or how to find a low price, you need Policy Genius. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need. Head to policygenius.com to get started. Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your search. If you like what they find, you'll get switched over for free. Okay, Policy Genius is saving new customers an average of $350 per year on home insurance. The team at Policy Genius are on hand at every step to help you make decisions with confidence. Policy Genius doesn't add an add on extra fees or sell your info to third parties. They've earned thousands of five-star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. <clears throat> the Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. Head to policygenius.com to get your free home insurance quotes and see how much you can save. Let's get back to the show. My man, Dre. Dre, how did you get started in comedy? Shit. <laughs> I just uh Googled open mics and went to Comic Strip Live really? at 18 and just kept doing it. The strip was your first? The strip was my first spot. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what inspired you? Like, what made you say, you know what, I want to Shit, go the, first, the first time I had the idea, I was in, like, junior high school. I had a... Uh, Where'd you go to junior high? IS-59. 59. Queens. On um, Queens, okay. Yeah. Um, they had, like, you know them scholastic book fair joints? Mm-hmm. And they had all the little book tickets and shit. I had mine, and I don't know why, but there was just one Bruce Bruce book. In the, <laughs> it was just, he had a book, really? and That's in fire. the back of the book, there was a uh, his album. He had one of his comedy albums in there. That's fire. And I just, I don't know, I just spent my whole shit on that one book. Yeah. Downloaded the little the album. I was listening to this nigga album on my way to school yeah. all through junior That's high. Baby James Brown? That's the, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> For real. Oh, I bought his wild. book. And then I had a SanDisk MP3 player, and that was what the fuck was on the MP3. And I That's was listening crazy. to that, like, all the time. And I was just attracted to any anytime I was watching TV or something, and I heard a laugh, I would just watch it, mm. no matter what it was. So I ended up watching mad shit that I, you know, wasn't around or anything like that. And then I got the idea. When I, when I told my family, I was in junior high, but they like, we don't know what the fuck that is. Nigga, we, we just got here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were a young man. You was born in, like, the late 1900s, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, 92. The late 1900s. <laughs> 1900s yeah, is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, a fact. Yeah, like, the second you said it, I knew what yeah. you meant. I'm like, it's true, but it's like, it's a different. Yeah, we were. Uh, it sounds dumb. Yeah. Years from now, yeah. I should be way wiser. Facts. 1900s. God damn. Mid 1900s. Late 1900s. Yeah. Right. It is what it is. Yeah, it don't matter like when you were born in the 1800s, you old as 1892 fuck. or old nigga. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 1892, yeah. done, son. Hell no. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe nah, 1899. Nah. 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 That's pushing it. That's 100, right? Yeah, I think the oldest person was like 117. 100. That's pushing There's a 107 year old. The woman uh, from Tulsa is 107. Victoria. Uh, Victoria Justice? No, that's not her name. No. Vi- no, Violet Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. Violet Fletcher. She's 107? Yeah, she's 107 years old. Born, what, 8, 19? Probably 1915, right? Fletcher. I don't know. That's some shit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some shit. 1915. Oh, shit. So ain't nobody alive from the 18th. Not fucking possible. Yeah. They dust. It's interesting, though, that... You being from New York and being so young were influenced by an OG like Bruce Bruce. Yeah, like I just, you know, comic view and shit. So of course, yeah. like he's he's like the king of comic view. So you would I'm watching BET, you see Bruce Bruce all the fucking time. He yeah. hosting it and everything. So it's like oh, I love about comedy, man. Comedy oh, dude. music is like the they're like universal bridgers. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. what do you don't have, like, other than, uh, the only thing you and Bruce have in common is funny. That's enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, funny is enough. Yeah, no matter much. what background you're from, what your race is, gender, yeah. funny is funny. Yeah. That's why I can't be around people that don't want to laugh. That's literally Thanks. the problem with the world that we live in right now. They want to take me some serious. That's right. Yeah. And you took one step back and just decided, let's laugh. Like, he's not trying to offend us. She's not trying to yeah. But that yeah. that's the thing. You got to have humility to do that. And I think people that want to laugh, they get that they okay with the idea that I don't know everything. Yeah. yeah. And and it, and that's all right. Like yeah. I don't hate you, bro. I might just be dumb. I might just not know what the fuck. Yeah. What's your thing is? I don't got nothing against you. I just don't yeah. know, cuz. Yo, that's a real good point, Dre. Because a lot of us express our insecurities through humor. Yeah, like so I'm the not... shit that I don't know. I make a joke about it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a self-deprecating. I'll on make purpose. myself dumb before you look at me like a dumb. That's right. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you don't feel dumb because you're really not if you're just asking the question. Yeah. You're admitting I don't know. What yeah, the yeah. that's why like the idea of like when people get mad at you for not knowing everything, it's like son, yeah. I, the fuck, I don't got that much time. Yeah. yeah, I can't know all of your shit. Yeah, yeah, laugh is just powerful, man. It's just so it's such a likable tool. Like just the other day, George Bush is on stage and he's trying to criticize Vladimir Putin. And he's basically like, there's a dictator, there's, there's like, oh no, there's a leader with authoritarian control is invaded, uh, you know, another country aimlessly. I, I can't believe what happened in Iraq. I mean, <laughs> Ukraine, <laughs> right? And then he goes, he goes, ah, Iraq too. And then he, <laughs> he goes, he goes, I'm 75. And he kind of like, he yeah. makes people laugh at a horrendous thing that he is responsible for. They were crucifying Putin for. What that we're crucifying Putin oh. for doing the exact same thing, but we're laughing at George Bush. Exactly, but, but Putin, Putin, Putin not funny. <laughs> Putin don't slap. No, come with some jokes, bro. No jokes. <laughs> you ain't got no jokes, bro. You ain't got no <laughs> bars. Putin. You don't know what Putin funny yet. Bush wasn't funny. No, nah, Bush was always. Funny. Yeah, Bush was not nah, Bush, 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 bro. Bro. Bush yeah. fucking yeah. was reading a fucking book upside down to a kindergarten class. Fair. I didn't want somebody to ask him why. Bush was so like funny. The fat, that, the fat, yo, we're gonna get him. Now watch this drive. <laughs> Do you remember that when he was playing golf? No. <laughs> it's the best. Just his, just the impersonation when people do the squint. And the, yeah, 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 Like that's that thing is is just funny, bro. Yeah. Listen, do you remember the first time you bombed? Oh hell yeah. First oh, time I bombed. Loves bomb it's, stories. It's like uh, I love bomb stories. <laughs> but, but bombs be funny, though, especially as a comic when you oh, watch yeah, your homie die up there. Yeah, so oh, that's the funniest shit. When he killing, it's like, all right, son, get your money, do your thing. But you watch your homie pass, it's like, god damn. No, that shit is for real. <laughs> when Jay-Z said, if you make somebody die breathing, you saying something? <laughs> Boy, when you watch a comedian bomb on that stage, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I bombed early. I bombed early. That's I got, true. huh? Yeah. I got all my bombing. I got a lot of good bombing done early. So your first show you bombed? Oh, yeah. First show, the cut, like, I had, it was like a six-minute set. It's an open mic. You pay to do the open mic. I had shit written. First, I'm up there for like four minutes and it's hot. It's dead silence, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking faster and faster. It's getting worse and worse. And then I see the woman likes me. And this is what saved me. Somebody just kind of like heckled me. And then I like roasted him for like the last couple minutes. Got a, got a couple laughs. But yeah, yeah, the yeah. beginning to the to the sweet middle end, nigga, was horrible. It was bad. It was yeah. train wreck. It's also all comics in the crowd, right? It's like that open mic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And y'all are booze. Y'all are a bougie well, elitist <laughs> bunch. Not only are I we support bougie, that shit. Nah, but not only are we bougie and elitist, like all those comics gotta go up. So they're thinking about but their they set. Do, they're also nervous. They're anxious. They're like, oh, I gotta get this right. Oh, what am I gonna right. do for this bit? So it's like the worst energy in the room to actually write jokes, but you need to get comfortable on stage as a comic. Do comedians take the time to laugh at other yeah, 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 that, yeah, definitely. Yo, if you're nice, you're nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's what They'll it tell is. you. Comics will definitely tell you, like, yo, that thing you said about the, ah, uh, that shit hard. It's yeah. Like, they'll tell you. They'll give it up. Yeah. I bombed another, t- I don't know if this account is a bomb, because it was going fine, but then they, niggas had the TV on, and the game was on. And then they Where? Were, I was in, not in, but it was in Harlem, though. Which one? Uh, Harlem Nights. Uh, I never did Harlem. Oh, uh, wait, that was, uh, what's his face's room? Uh, Thompson. His last name is Thompson, too. Where? Yeah, isn't Thompson, he? Thompson? Oh, you talking about Omar Thompson? Omar, yeah. No, 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 that's not Omar shit. It's not oh, Omar. It wasn't oh, okay. Omar. But yeah, yeah, it was up in Harlem. His last name was Thompson, too. Like, his first name was Thompson. <laughs> Thompson, Thompson. Bruce, Thompson. Bruce Thompson Thompson. <laughs> it's Thompson, a trend Thompson. with black comics. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, I was on stage and they had the game on and I guess the game got interested and oh, there was a yeah, couple yeah. hood niggas in the back that never cared about comedy. Yeah, 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 These yeah, niggas yeah. let you know the whole time. You ain't give a fuck about none of that yeah, shit you doing up there. Yeah, yeah. The game was on. It. One nigga stood up and was like, yo, turn that shit up, son. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, hear the yeah, game. Yeah, 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 and I'm yeah, on yeah. stage like, what? Yeah, <laughs> comedy yeah. show? Comedy show. Like, I wasn't yeah. even the first comic. Like, we are well into the show. Yeah. They just don't give a fuck. Yeah, the game was good. It's a bar too. Yeah, right. it's a bar too. Yeah. That right there would have made me shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hell, bro. You going to hell, bro. You going to hell, bro. Right there, going to hell, bro. So, yo, shut the fuck up and turn the <laughs> <laughs> like, Whoa. Like, I'm just up like, God damn, son. That's the son. establishment's fault. <laughs> like, <what> you, <laughs> why you come outside <laughs> to watch the game? <laughs> okay. Shit. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, come on, Taylor. Give me some. Uh, what we got? What we got? Give me some asking idiots. <laughs> What's trending? Which, what, huh? what? Come on, you gotta give me more context. You can't Martin Luther King yeah, or Donald yeah, yeah, Trump. Yeah, you, Taylor, you just can't say MLK or Donald Trump. Should we no try to context. guess the connection? No. Wow. What's better, the context? That a basketball player, man. Yo, man, drop one of the cool <laughs> bombs a... for them MAGA folks, man. They are good. Bro. What's that's that? box. Right. That? And just to, just to do that is hilarious. What? They're not even that's, the same sentence. That's, that's, like, like, that's, my, like, that's some pointless, needless <laughs> shit <laughs> that's going to have motherfuckers arguing all day long for yeah. nothing. And all it does is keep Donald Trump's name out there. That's for no, there's no other reason he's Who's doing that. popular? Like, there's no metric where they no. match. He, the only way there's no. some people in a, in, the, in the room somewhere they're just like all right how can we piss off black people yes <laughs> yeah there's a, a video a black guy goes to a white guy he's out of he don't know what's going on he goes I'm okay or Donald Trump Taylor yeah, well, show us the video I now need see that, that's why I need context you know I mean? yeah, that's, that kind of changes that, that, that man on the street like, oh, no one's homeless here's on the question oh, no, no, no. hold on who was homeless no, it's a clip. Okay. Right. That's the kind of shit we need, Dre, for this season. We need that kind of shit right there. Okay. okay. <laughs> like, I'm sick of time. Man sick. on the street. I'm so sick like of that, trying bro. to make sense oh, with y'all. Yeah, I'm with it. You know, hey, I'm with is, it. Why? You get tired of making sense when shit like this is going on. <laughs> like, who cares? Like, am I okay? Like, why? That's not, that shouldn't even be a thing, it's but a it is. Yo, you got to do that. Better train conductor, Thomas or <laughs> Harriet? <laughs> <laughs> Who got the better crossover? Mop and Max? Who would be Newton? Yeah, 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 yeah. For no reason. Like, what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For, no, for oh, no fucking reason. Do you have it, Taylor? Like, Michelle I'm Obama or Margaret that. Thatcher? Yeah. <laughs> and what? Uh, who could cook? Arm wrestle. Um, arm wrestle. <laughs> I got Michelle. Yeah, all day Michelle long. got it. Michelle, yeah, she worked out. Michelle a washer. <laughs> you got it, Taylor? I don't know where I found it at. See, Taylor is one of them bots. <laughs> Taylor just throws some shit out there, <laughs> get us talking, you know what I'm saying? And don't even give us and give us what the fuck we need. No, I should have, but... <laughs> all right, give us some, some masking idiots. I know, okay, versus Donald Trump. What was That's that about? Fire. That's fire. <laughs> you got to have that discussion. Who got the hottest freestyle? Public <laughs> <laughs> speaker? Is it public speaker? Yo, speaker? One of my favorite. Oh, come on. That's not even. Come on. It's Donald, right? MLK. Well, come on, son. <laughs> yeah. Yo, by the way, hold time out. Time out. Time out. It's, 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 talking about hold on. Jamie, like, just laughs. It's bro? new. That's what I'm saying. It's nuance. <laughs> he goes laugh. If it's humor. Come on, son. It's Trump. Right, but wait, wait, if wait. If it's inspiration, it's Trump. No, if it's inspiration, it's Martin Luther King without a doubt. You got but, quotables? Huh? Trump don't got no quotables. What? Compared, on, to, compared to MLK? <laughs> Nah, he got bars, bro. Compared to MLK, <laughs> no, son, I got more in the bars. Human in the human department, yes. Lock I her up. Did. Lock her up. I literally said China yesterday. I did. I was talking about China. I said China. Like, I did it like Trump on purpose. Well, what did he call Build a wall. Home? If it's for humor, you're going Trump. Kung Fu is If it's for inspiration, you're going Martin Luther if King Jr. Honest, Martin Luther King bars? Martin could have been funny. Outside of I Have a Dream, what y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> Martin could have been funny. He just didn't have the opportunity. He had the opportunity. I may not. I may not. Get, I may not go there with you. You know what I'm saying? I no, seen the no, mountain. No, he didn't say you know what I'm saying. Don't you Google? Let me quote my Let me quote. What I'm saying is, we got. I have a dream. I know that. I know it was a different time. And we also, 60, 60, 60. we also just recently Trump lived had, through the Trump era. The We Shall Overcome speech was fire. No, no, no. All the speeches are fire. Selma. 
I don't, he had a speech for something? I don't know. I think, I'm, I'm assuming he talked before they, they started walking to rile him up for the walk. Say it. This is why these discussions are amazing. Yo, don't put this in the show. show. Trump had I the swear to God, if you don't put this in the show. But I'm gonna have, the thing is, I'll have, I'll have somebody there that actually knows the now, quotes. Like somebody like Dr. Michael Eric Dyson could quote Martin Luther King now, Jr. Now, what like I will that. say is this. Trump's quotes are not going to stand the test of time. Mm. Nobody's going to be saying China. That's a lie. In fifty years, that's a lie. He's the he was the president of the United States right, of America. So, yeah. He wasn't just some yeah. guy up there winging it. That was the president. I don't even know what Reagan Reagan did. did. He was winging was, it. Was was but he Reagan, was the president? Was <laughs> Ra- what is Reagan quote? I don't even know. Reagan ain't Trump, bro. Yeah, you don't uh, got that. Reagan Reagan quote. ain't Trump with them with them words, bro. Oh, it's a black dude asking the questions. Yeah. Oh Lord, I love it. See, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you something right now. If if the MAGA people are already doing stuff like this, Martin Luther King versus Trump, boy, Juneteenth, they're gonna really June start team. some shit. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got. Uh huh. Donald Trump or Malcolm X? Oh, it's Donald Trump or Malcolm X? He's thinking about it. Yeah. If you had to pick one. <laughs> I need context, bro. Yeah, he, they just got a dude who's lost. Yeah. Trump or Malcolm X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You pick Malcolm X? I thought you said Martin Luther King Jr., Taylor. Malcolm no, X. Just... Hello? Oh, that was an Ask an Idiot question. Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, I thought you were just telling us about what's trending. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was from Twitter or something. Okay, shit. give me another. What's another Ask an Idiot? Um, one thing from your childhood you love either read or remove. Hold on, what? One thing from your childhood, you love either relieve or remove. I know, I know, Charles. Or relive, I'm fast Yeah, that's all. I'm uh, like, huh? Uh, <laughs> I like, ain't relieve or remove, I'm the same thing. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm like, is that <laughs> me? Am I, I dumb, bro? Like, why, why, why do I understand? I'm like, relieve or remove. Relive or remove. Yeah. I don't want to relive shit from my childhood. I'm trying. I mean, that's why I'm in therapy so we'll all move. the goddamn time now. What would, re- you, what would you remove? Uh, Jerry Curl Juice? Uh, Jerry Curl Juice. <laughs> uh, I think that messed me up more. Than getting molested at eight, I messed me up more as I got older. I think I would have more of a relationship with my father when I was young. But I mean, but that's, that's based off the things I know now mm. about myself and about him, mm. the work I've done in therapy. If I could that's go true. back, I would change the dynamics of that <laughs> yeah. relationship. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh as opposed to him saying, don't, don't, don't do as I do, do as I say. Or, yeah. you know, the one thing that parents do that's fucked up, or at least my parents, I'm not gonna speak for all parents, and not my mom, really, really the, the dad, is when a kid asks a question, a, don't do that. Why? Oh yeah, no answer. Because I, yeah, so. I said so. I said so. I don't really do much. That don't teach you shit. Yeah, I grew up with that. You know what I'm saying? I it doesn't teach you anything. And you don't learn that until you get older. Like, yo, you didn't teach me nothing. So it's like now when I, when I got kids, like the other day, my, my three-year-old, she wasn't feeling well. She's sitting right here in front of me and she just stands up and she just throws up. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> Give me a warning. <laughs> like, like, yo, Say so. like, yo! And she just throws up again. And I go, yo, you can't. I, I scream her name and she starts crying because she's not used to me yelling. So then I got to apologize. Like, I, I, my parents didn't apologize to Back. me. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I apologize to you. I apologize to you. I didn't mean to yell at you. You just startled me yeah. when you started throwing up like that. Yeah. I said, you have to let me know when you're sick. Let your mama know when you're Word. sick. And if you do feel that way, go stand yeah. in front of the toilet. You yeah. know what she did for the rest of the day? Stood in front of the toilet. Stood in front. She went and stood in front of the toilet. Aww. So that so so instead of me just back in the day, my father would have just yelled. Yeah. Well, clean made me up. clean it up yeah. with my hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right. Scoop it up. Right. <laughs> made me clean it up with my hand and then just been barking at me. That's what I would do. I would go change the dynamics of that relationship by demanding I be taught something. Mm. That's like going going back in time, but with the knowledge that you have now, though. Yes. Yeah. Which doesn't work. What would you? What would you relive or remove? What do you got, bro? What would I relive or remove? Uh, I don't know what I re would. I don't know, like certain holidays, I guess, where everybody was home. Yeah. Like I remember, like when I was younger, there will be like holidays would be more full. People cared more. Like yeah. be, the house would be packed more. Yeah, it's not like that now. 
Because everybody's older. Motherfuckers move pandemic, people in different states, mm. people, some people pass, you know, so like it ain't Christmas ain't the same type of Christmas that it was when you was like nine, ten. And you Jamaican, right, Drake? Yeah. Oh, so you missed like fucking curry and the goat. <laughs> curry and the goat. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> what I said. No, I said curry and curry, curry, curry and the goat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you said curry and the goat. No. Curry and the goat. <laughs> yeah, like I miss putting them. Curry and the goat. That's like the Jamaican catcher on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> a coming of age story. <laughs> About a young, young Jamaican. <laughs> Blood. But, that, but that's how y'all bond, all right? We don't bond over curry goat, but yeah, I've seen yeah. it. I've, I've witnessed I, Jamaicans real, in their they, natural they, habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never killed the goat together as a sacrificial moment? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did kill chickens. Chickens, that definitely chickens. But, but it was just to go cook. It wasn't no, like, get the family together. We about to have a moment. It was, yeah. yeah. Dinner's close, nigga. Go get that dealt with. Bring it in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Let's situate it. this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it wasn't no... All that stuff is bonding, bro. Say what you want. We don't do enough bonding activities as oh, families absolutely. no more. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I used to run or I used to chase the chicken with my grandmother. Oh, yeah. To yeah, catch yeah. it so she can grab it and Petey Pablo that motherfucker. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Wow. It's the truth, the though. Snap the neck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Snap the neck, then cut it off. Where you did you uh, later? Where'd your grandma learn how to handle a cock like that? <laughs> 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 That's a funny joke, though. That's you gotta yeah. be a, listen, that's a funny joke. Are you triggered, my man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't say it wrong. That's a hilarious joke. Just, that's the, by the way, that's just, the joke. That's the kind of joke you make with friends. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. facts, facts. yeah. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> 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 <That is crazy. laughs> what would you relive? <laughs> you would relive that moment. <laughs> My, I'm gonna use that <laughs> at some point in life. Uh, you gonna wait for the opportunity? Uh, I'm, gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. What uh, would you relive? Uh, <laughs> God, what would I relive or remove? I'm just trying to think, man. What do I want to relive from my childhood? What do I want to remove from it? Hmm. It's so weird because now, like, I I look at the world like uh like Marvel universes. So I'm like, well, if this thing that's embarrassing uh, didn't happen, yeah, do I not get here? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I would, I do I get to remove it and still be here? And then I'm sure there's a bunch of like times where like I did th something that doesn't like Feels connect good. with my like yeah. ethics or morals. Like I was like, oh, that was bad. I should have, even if it's a stupid thing, like I just maybe was embarrassed. Oh, I could have treated that person nicer or this kind mm, of thing. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I enjoy where I'm at right now. What about like a reliving then? Yeah. Re of removing something. I think that's why when you get older, I think it's like, I'm 38. So I'm now I'm just like, yo, let's run it back again, man. Yeah. What yeah, would be the point? Cool. What would be the point of reliving when the whole point of life is learning? So if we, we if we go back yeah. with everything we know now when we were young. Well, you could have a better impact than you. So like if you did this with the knowledge that you had this time and this was the first try and yeah. you fucking knocked it out the park. Yeah. Imagine yeah, if yeah. niggas had a, a game manual yeah. and this is time too. And a I'm game still. Game manual? Not game. That game. too though. That oh, too game. though. That too though. <laughs> <laughs> that too though. <laughs> all that. Yeah, and all cause, that. Cause the reason I say that is because simply like if I go back, I might think I know it all. But yeah. you thought that the first time. Yeah, that's, that's how young works. Yeah, I don't know if true. I thought I knew it all, but I, oh that, no, that's a good point, Drake. I don't know if I thought I knew it all, but I I knew I didn't know enough that I had this one thing I did know, and that was this shit gonna work. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know shit else. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do this radio. You don't think that's more like a like an innate feeling? Because like I feel you with that on stand up. Like, I remember telling my family I was doing it and they would like try to put, they would uh -huh. be slipping all kind of fucking job applications at, in my door and shit. And like everybody's asking, when you going back to school? When you going to take something serious? Mm. And, and it's just like, I remember crying over this shit, over doing comedy. Like yeah. this shit, it tugged the emotions. Like, I was doing whatever and anything to make it happen. But it was only like a, like I didn't know how. I've read nothing. I but didn't know no path. That I ignorance is bliss, it. though. That ignorance is bliss because if you had too much information, you might have talked yourself out of 
being a comedian. You you might have been realistic. Yeah. Like, oh, nah, you, you can't do comedy. Yeah, you know, I should go get a job. I, this shit ain't going to work. Who do I know yeah. that's a comedian? But, that, that's, but that's the thing. That's more so if I'm looking at shit differently versus just doing it again, but with the knowledge that I have now. Yeah. I'm yeah. still applying the same knowledge to this lifestyle I'm yeah. live or whatever. It's just that I'll be able to make more intelligent decisions earlier. Yeah. You know what I mean? And get to things a little better. Is you know? life about intelligent decisions? It ain't about the dumb shit, because that shit hurt every time you make them, bro. Did it, though? But maybe it gets you where you are. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it didn't hurt, you wouldn't change it up. Because yeah, sure. think about all, all the stuff we learned from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of dumb shit that we did that we learned from, and it really got us in the direction we needed to be. But I guess if you're going back and you already know not to make the mistake, I don't know. I think you have to make these mistakes, bro. I really don't. I'm yeah. at that point in my Some life. Some mistakes, you could learn from other people's shit. Like, True. Yeah. I got not everybody lives number. like that, though. Yeah, yeah, like, I, mean, I feel like mine would be, I wish I did more dumb shit early on because now I'm too grown to do dumb shit. Yeah, because the stakes <laughs> are too high. Oh, but yeah. see, your dad was in the military and your mom. Yeah. So it was like heavy discipline. So I, yeah. I didn't really get time well, to do that. What's the dumb shit you want to do? What's Hope. the scars you want to get? Oh, no. <laughs> what? No, no. But that's the thing. I'm that's all, that's like, all I think when a woman says that. Because it's like most of the times, it's Man, like it people even, asking, how do I injure myself more? It could even be like, <laughs> how it could do I make myself like less mentally more. stable? Like, I was so, when I moved here, so focused on trying to get into the industry, I always worked and I always had internships. I didn't really party much. You're a DJ, though. All right, so let yeah, me ask I'm you working this. the party. I'm not getting fucked up meeting people. But that's what and, I'm like, saying. Doing... Like, suppose this, that's a different outcome because with that comes a cause. You partying every night, you might uh, you might look different. You drinking heavy as fuck. <gasps> you might. Oh, that's true. You might, you know, it's a Damn. different lifestyle. Okay, well, party younger in high school. Like, get that out of me. That way now I don't feel like I missed the phase. Break some rules. Yeah, break some rules. That's really what it is. Yes, that's, that's you it. obeyed the rules and go pull a fire alarm or some shit. Go live, <laughs> <laughs> go live it up. There's thousands in here. You but never, you, you grew up in a strict household, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, and my parents are young, but they're strict. So you obeyed the rules, and there's a little part of you that's like, oh, I wish I rebelled a little bit. But you're also at an age right now where, like, if you rebel now, it could really kind of fuck up your life. Exactly. Yeah, rebellion is like not paying your rent. Yeah. 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 Like just not texting back your dad now is, is not really rebelling. But that can cost you though. What's that? Not texting back your dad because our parents are getting older. We getting Never older. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you think about things like that. You know what I mean? That time That's... when you like, let me call my mom real quick. I'll call her tomorrow. Oh, I hate that. I hate Don't that. Know. You got yeah, tomorrow. I hate that. Hello, I now. hate that. I mean, we never had it. We never knew if we had it back then, but we really know you on borrowed yeah. time. There was more runway back then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do you feel like you should you would have made more mistakes? Just why? I want to know what's the why. Like, why do you feel like? Um, just because I feel like, like things that I've learned in college. If I would have learned in high school, I would have been better off. Really? I wouldn't have to experience it in older age. My, like the older yeah. you get, you don't want to be doing shit that people learn in high school or shit like that. Yeah, my dad always said, uh, and I didn't really understand it until I started to get older. He goes, uh, "Youth, why is it wasted on the young?" Mm. Now that's not his quote. I'm sure somebody else's quote, but right. like Martin Luther King Jr. probably Martin might have been King. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, but that's just what it is. It's like the second you get out of out of high school, you know exactly how to work high school. The second you get out of college, you're like, oh, I got this college shit figured out. And I think that is life in general. Like nobody figures out life. Like all them monks and shit that know exactly how to live, they're like a hundred. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you figure it out right when you're done with it, and that's just part of life. And that's, and, but yeah, that's why you become a monk. Life. Yeah, maybe. Me, and I don't mean like I'm, I'm not saying become a monk. I'm just saying you become that person that passes it back to the generation that's coming after yeah, you. Yeah. I was t somebody the other day here in this building was like, just because you said no mean is gold. And I thought about it and I said, actually, it does. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why it does. Just and by, by the way, you might take it <laughs> and not apply it to your life. That's yeah. fine. Well, yeah. in context to that conversation. In con but in, in, it's goal because I've lived an experience that that person has yet to live. Yeah, this is my goal. That's my goal. Yeah. So it's still gold. Whether you use it and it helps you in your life, it's still mm -hmm. gold. Anybody yeah. that's come before you and has done something and they're telling you yeah. how, how, how they did it, giving you some tips, it's gold. Yeah, yeah. I, don't like, I don't like arguing over advice. <laughs> like when people ask for advice oh, and no, then they no, start no. arguing, it's like. Well, it also depends on who it's coming from. Like if you guys are giving me advice, you guys are people that are successful. There, but there are a lot of unsuccessful people that want to give you advice, and really, it'd be like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. want advice from you because you're nobody I admire. It depends clarify. what they're talking about. No, though. no, but let me clarify. what I'm saying like I don't like arguing over advice that you're asking me for. Yeah. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm giving you unsolicited advice, tell me to shut the fuck up. You don't ask for this advice. But if if you're coming up to me going, how do how would you do this? Mm-hmm. And I tell you I would do it, and then you start telling me why that's wrong. It's like, why, why am I wasting my fucking time? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you I, just, uh, I told the room last week. Tell tell. <laughs> no, I was talking to the other. Go, I said, hey, hey, I said, hey, hey, I love everybody in this room. I respect everybody in this room. But I don't give a fuck if y'all listen to me or not. Because I'm already me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's the truth. Sure. It's not it. It's not it. True. Yeah, like, yeah. Even though I did. You know of, what course, I mean? of course. But I needed that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, because it, oh, it's why it almost feels like oh, it feels like you're being discredited. Like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Wrong. You gonna tell me I'm wrong when I'm here? <laughs> how, how am I wrong? You asking huh? me for help? You asking <laughs> yes. What the fuck? T- so Taylor's point. She wasn't. What happened? I forgot. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that blind was so fire. You just remember getting <laughs> that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how y'all got it. What was we talking about? We were talking about, like, professional, like, just saying. Oh, no, that was, no, that was what we were talking about, because I was saying, to, I was, it's like you, Dre. <laughs> I even you, Schultz, me. As a person, now nah, I was a DJ. If you see somebody that's doing what you love uh, and is doing what you do, mm-hmm. and they're more successful than you, mm-hmm. go talk to Let's them. Go, yeah. That's go it, that's all them. I was telling them. Go talk to them. They got some game, Have man. a conversation. And, and the pushback was, well, what if they don't want to say anything? That's on them. Yeah, but they have yeah. you tried. And, and, and can I say one thing? I bet, uh, I, don't, I assume that you feel similar, but I'm not going to speak for you. People enjoy talking about what they love mm-hmm. and why it's worked out for them. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yes. might not. If you walk up to like uh, fucking Tom Cruise and you're like, uh, well, can you tell me about uh, history? Be like, why are you talking to me about history? Yeah. If you walk up and be like, Dude, how do you get your body ready for the stunts? Mm-hmm. He probably, honestly, well, I, I have a pretty uh, strict yeah, workout yeah, yeah, regimen. Yeah. I have to eat certain things and like it makes me sure to recover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Get on it, bro. <laughs> get on that bag of conspiracy. That's that bag of conspiracy. The adrenochrome, <laughs> Uh, you put little babies on the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, what is happening? Yeah. But that's my point. It's just like, yo, just go talk to a person. And t- and, they and, do like it, man. And by the way, yeah. Tom Cruise may not have time for you, yep. depending on who you are. Yeah. But I promise you, somebody, the person that never gets spoken to oh, and never time, gets asked, yeah. asked advice would love right. the poor in you. It's like, yeah. oh, you think I'm important? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, really... you look, you think I'm, you, you value admire what work? I do? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, man, you, you can't tell this shit. That's true. After that. That's all I'm saying. 100%. All right. Uh, Dre, give me your Twitters and your Instagrams and all that stuff. Yo, it's Andre D. Thompson on everything. And uh, yeah, this shit is dope as fuck to do this show, man. I've been watching this shit forever. Like, Dre yeah, told me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He forever. told me that. Where you, you say you was working at when you used to... Oh, fucking everywhere, bro. I was fucking working at Enterprise, washing cars. Washing nigga. cars. Boy. I was at a, <laughs> at a supplement store selling creatine to motherfuckers and shit. True, true Jamaican. <laughs> I was doing everything, nigga. <laughs> so now Congrats, to be on man. it, it's dope as shit, man. I'm stoked. I'm stoked to see what's happening with you, man. This is awesome. Oh, shit. Appreciate and it, And I didn't bro. know you do Dante podcast. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I saw it. Met yeah. y'all the first time. Oh, when we did Dante's yeah. podcast back in the day. And I, I remember, I was about to, we was talking, oh. podcast going, and then I was like about to say something, <laughs> and Charmaine was like, all right. This guy ain't shit, bro. It's so like, I need context. Yeah, yeah, it was about shit like uh, young people trying to like, Act like they know shit or ah. or have experience or something or have something to say. And you, yeah. and you and Dante was more of like, you ain't lived enough yet yeah, 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 yeah. to know stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't talk. Yeah. And then I was like, but what if? And he was like, all right, nigga, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we've had enough of that. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> that's proper content. <laughs> I, I think that's proper content. Yeah. yeah. All right. As all of you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But you listen to this podcast, we think we're just a couple of idiots and all this shit, and you're right too. It's a brilliant podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. All right.